Together, the two bills could have a major impact on immigration policy. And joining me now to discuss is Congressman John Yarmouth. He's a member of the House Gang of Eight that put together an immigration reform bill last year. So, Congressman Yarmouth, um, describe how these two bills would impact uh, young immigrants, particularly dreamers. Well, basically what it would allow the House or the Senate to do is to sue the President when he, for instance, imp Im, uh, implemented the DACA program, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, uh, which allowed uh, children brought here as, as uh, young children uh, through no fault of their own their, uh, to work and to remain legally in the, in the country. Uh, about a half million have already signed up for the DACA program. There are about two million dreamers throughout the country that will eligible and and this would basically try to intimidate the president from allowing those people to stay illegally in the country and and you know the the ironic thing about this joy is that in their principles of supporting immigration reform the thing they were most strong about was about uh, letting these people stay in the country and and, and uh, become citizens so um, it's really hypocritical of them to at one point say we really want the dreamers to stay in the country and become citizens and productive uh, uh, residents of the United States but then on the other other hand say the reason we have to do this enforce act to actually empower us to sue the president is because of the president's action with, with with regard to the dreamers I mean does it surprise you that given the political reality the demographic realities really facing the Republican Party that Republicans would do bills that in your uh, reading of them specifically do go after dream act kids who used to be seen as sort of the the, the most sort of positive target if Republicans wanted a way into immigration reform Oh, I mean, it makes no sense to me uh, politically. I, I think this basically just indicates what kind of disarray the Republican conference is in with regard to immigration policy. I know Speaker Boehner wants to do comprehensive immigration reform. People like Paul Ryan want to do it. Uh, we know there are a majority of votes in the House to pass comprehensive reform, but they can't get past this extreme right wing of their party and get something to the floor. But to, to take on and to focus on the dreamers, particularly in the committee report of the Enforce Act, where they said this is why we have to do this because we don't want the president doing things like allowing the dreamers to stay in the country illegally without congressional approval but they won't pass anything and you know for a year ago we heard all these rumors about well we're gonna have our own dream act we're gonna have this uh, way to keep the, the immigrant kids in the country uh, we haven't heard a word about it since and uh, they have just got to get off uh, off their seats and get something done it'll be damaging to them politically uh, I think it will be damaging politically in some Senate races and some gubernatorial races this year if they don't act. Okay, last word to you, Adrian. Who faces the bigger risk here? You have now House Republicans going after Dreamers, in a sense, with these two bills in the reading of Congressman Yarmouth. You have the President now in a position where the Congressional Hispanic Caucus is demanding action. Mm -hmm. Who, in your, just in your reporting, is facing mm -hmm. the bigger political pushback? Well, I mean, obviously you can see the President is not comfortable with what's going on with deportations right now, but I think the, the House GOP has to be very careful. Now they're going at deferred action, and, you know, that's a program that's been popular before, and it's a slippery slope. I mean, they talk about, you know, maybe in 2015 we'll pass it, but you have to understand Latino voters voters have long memories and so then what's happening there are they are they just suddenly saying that these people are working for me and they have my back or are they feeling like a little bit duped yeah absolutely all right well congressman john yarmouth adrian carasquillo great reporting thank you so thank much thank you okay Enjoy. and you